For serious YouTubers, save time and money with TubeBuddy, the premier tool used at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. SNK, you know, they're known for the Neo Geo and they were pretty much uh, the game system for fighting games and also shooters, you know, they were awesome for that. But SNK has been around the block for a while, especially when it came to uh, fighting games. And this is one of my favorites. This is actually called Street Smart. And as the name uh, implies, it's basically fighting in the streets. And this game was awesome. I mean, it's just basically punching and kicking. And I love the action sounds. This is actually, if I remember the action sounds, is actually taken from their other game is POW, you know, but this game is just mindless fun. And because of the sound effects, you know, say what you will about sound effects, but the way they did it, the SNK did it with this game and the other game POW, you get a real satisfying feeling whenever you hit a character or knock him out. It's, it's pretty sweet. And there is a jump button too, but honestly, you don't really use it. You just keep kicking and punching until they die. Oh man. And uh, I'm not even sure what the whole storyline is. I don't think it even matters, but SNK was just all about let's just release this fighting game. Now I'm really surprised that uh, Street Smart didn't have a sequel. I don't think it had a sequel, um, but I actually had this on my uh, Sega Genesis, you know, and it was actually a pretty good port, you know. I mean, even though the hardware uh, wasn't as powerful, nowhere near as powerful as the arcade, the results were pretty good, you know. Oh yeah, check that out. And that's so funny. I love how SNK, they added these little touches to it, you know, with the ambitious. And then even if you look at the background, there's a lot of stuff going on. See, all I got was, wait, I didn't actually even get a kiss. Oh, that's not right. Okay, so kind of like Street Fighter S, you know, you're going to different places. But the whole purpose is still the same. Beat up your enemies. <laughs> And you know, this kind of reminds me of another game, although it's not exactly in the same style. It's Kajeki. You know, and Kajeki was a fighting game, a humorous fighting game, and it was set in a street atmosphere, you know, but it was way different from this one. I actually like Street Smart a lot better. It's just, it's just more fun. It's hard, but not like crazy hard. And like I said, the sound effects just make it so satisfying when you're beating up a character. Look at this. <laughs> There's not really any combos or anything. You just punch and kick and make sure that you have a lot of quarters because you're going to die. I mean, when you get further in the game. Look at this. Oh, and I don't think if you had like other more moves that it would make this game better because that's why this game is so accessible because it's really just punch and kick. That's all you're using. Uh, and you just keep moving forward until either you die or your opponent dies. And that's just really cool. And their fighting styles, uh, your fighting style, to me, it looks more like Taekwondo because he could actually throw them as well, um, but it's kind of random. He has a throwing technique too. Oh man. Oh man, this guy kind of reminds me of DJ from Street Fighter. Or Street Fighter 2 or whatever, Championship Edition. Oh man. A lot of button mashing. Man, this character is taking a while to beat up. Now, you can play two players at the same time, it looks like, as well. And I played this a lot in the arcade. So that's why I bought the Genesis version when I was a kid, because I really enjoyed the, um, the arcade. Oh, man. And the thing is, when, when your opponent's about to die, they actually get a little bit more powerful. Their attacks are more powerful and they're quicker. But not quick enough. Go to SNK Hospital. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I got a different girl. Yeah. I don't know what she's doing there. Okay, she just showed me her legs. Awesome. I don't know if they're supposed to be brothers. They might be. Oh, check out this guy. Now, if you remember SNK, um, that game Fatal Fury, this guy looks like he could, I mean, he could have been uh, an inspiration for Earthquake. You know, if you remember Earthquake, uh, that character, a big character uh, from the Fatal Fury series. Oh wait, it's not Fatal Fury, I'm sorry. Was it Samurai Showdown? Yeah, Earthquake was from Samurai Showdown. But this might have been an inspiration for it because Earthquake was actually a biker. 
It's just a big behemoth of a character. Wow, this guy just laid it down. This will probably be the last character fight. There you go. See, I got a throw right there. Oh, man. Well, he got a punch in my face. Yeah, see? So that's how come I think this is like more of a Taekwondo style. Very hard punches and kicks. Oh, man. And it's so funny when they're moving and they're attacking. They're kind of like sliding, you know? Like, see, like when he's kicking, he's just sliding and going straight. Oh, I just want to beat this guy. You see? Yeah. Yeah, there's no way that you can beat this game without a lot of corners. I just, there's really no way. Because there's not really much strategy to this game. You just keep putting in quarters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's big as a hospital bus. Oh, yeah. Boy, so every place he goes to, he's picking up chicks. All right. So I guess that's your prize. <laughs> so, yeah, that is a Street Smart. It's actually one of my uh, most memorable games that I played. And I've actually played this in the arcade. And like I said, I also had it on Sega Genesis. But it's a really, really fun game. And after playing this, you know, uh, you really know where SNK got their fighting loops from. You know, there's been so many games that SNK has made. And this one, like I said, is one of the most memorable games that I remember playing as a kid. So if you had any thoughts on Street Smart or any other fighting games, whether it's SNK or not, leave it in the comments area below. And if you did enjoy these videos, got a lot of value out of it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you can do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and i'll see you outdoors on the very next episode